Hey guys, GJC here. Um, ever since Twitch started making all these DMCA strikes, a lot of people have been asking me how to separate audio tracks for their Twitch VODs. So this is just a little quick tutorial to show you what to do. Um, once you set it up, you really don't ever have to mess around with it. So let's get to it. Uh, first things first, you'll need to download a virtual audio mixer. Uh, I, like a lot of people, recommend you use Voice Meter Banana. I will put a link in the description below. Um, you can download whichever one of these. I just download the execution file, but you can download the zip file and unzip it if you wish. So you click the install, it'll download. Um, I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like, but I don't need to install it because it's already installed on my computer. Um, so, and I certainly don't intend on removing it. But once you install it, uh, you'll need to restart your computer after you install it from on your computer and restart it. You will need to set it up as your default output device. So we'll start first by going into your sound settings. You can find your Windows sound settings either by right-clicking on the speaker symbol here and open sound settings, or you can always go to sound settings and search for it in your Windows start menu. All right, so when you open this up, the first thing you'll want to make sure you get right is up here on output for sound at the very top you'll want to make sure that it says voice meter input vb audio voice meter this is now where you're going to send all your output through to the mixer the virtual mixer right um, after you do that you probably won't hear any more sounds coming out of anything um, and that's because we need to reroute every, everything through voice meter banana so after you're done with after you're done setting this up you can minimize it. Don't need to close it because we'll probably we'll need to use it again. Um, to open up Voice Meter Banana, after you install it, it'll either be in your system tray, but since it's not here, we can search for it. There we go. Okay, and now it's open. Uh, once you have this open, the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that this is always turns on when your computer turns on. So let's go hit that menu button on the top right. This is menu. And there's this box right here, this option right here that you got to check mark. It says run on Windows startup. So now every time Windows opens, it will run this. It'll run this uh, voice meter mixer for you. Voice meter is actually free to use, but after the trial period, uh, you will get a pop-up every time it opens, but you know you don't have to buy it if you don't want to, though I do suggest you support the developers. Another thing you should probably check also as well is the system tray box here. Um, this way, voice meter will always be in your system tray and it'll be easy to find in case you need to use it. And you don't always have to search for it in the start menu, you know? Um, so now that you have voice meter open, we'll have to, I'll go over some things. I know it looks like there's a lot of knobs and dials and stuff, and it's very intimidating, but really actually just going to use the very basic parts of it. So first things first, we'll need to set up your output devices. These are your things like your speaker or your headphones or maybe a TV, which is what I use. I actually have two televisions I use for a monitor. And then also my third audio output is through my Yeti uh, mic and I attach my headphones to that. So we'll set up uh, one of my speakers first. The first speaker we're gonna set up is my TV. It's already set in there, but as you'll see, you can press this. This is where all your audio hardware devices, speakers and stuff like that will be showing up. Uh, under these three options, you can set up to three devices. And I use all three. Uh, so the first one you just press down and it'll pull up and you'll have all these options you can pick from and you can decide which speaker you wanna make your first audio device. Um, I chose my main television with audio speakers attached to it. It will send the audio that way. And now we can actually, once that's set up, you can actually start hearing audio through that speaker. You should be able to hear it through that speaker. And you can test it by adjusting your volume button right here in Windows. And you should be hearing it through whatever your first audio, whether that's your headphone or your speakers, whatever it is you want to set up. Now, for some reason, if it's not coming through, make sure that the buttons down here it says voice meter bio. This is where all the sound is being sent from your desktop. Make sure these buttons here, A1 is is green. That means that it's being sent to your audio device one. Uh, it's the same thing for audio devices two and three as well. These all correspond to one another. This is important because you'll need to make sure you're sending the audio to the proper devices. Um, 
Now, it's no good sometimes if you can hear audio on the stream or the stream can hear the audio, but you can't hear the audio too, right? So you'll want to set up headphones for yourself as well. I usually set up my Yeti mic for my second audio device. That way I can listen to the music and listen to the sound through my headphones and I don't have to worry about it. Um, some people don't like to do that. Again, make sure the green light under A2 is highlighted. You pick whichever Yeti, whatever, you know, Yeti microphone or speaker you want as your second thing. Now, you'll see in front there's WDM and MME and KS. These are essentially different codecs. Um, it doesn't really matter. They're, they have different quality, delay, and there's different people who say some are better than the other. I usually just put WMD, but you can mess around with it if you're noticing a slight delay in your sounds or whatever, you can choose different options to see if you have something that you, a setting you prefer more than another. But usually I just pick this for one that says WDM. Um, and then for my third set of speakers, I use my second television. And so that's three of them that you can set up. Again, make sure all these are, all, oh, sorry, make sure all of these are highlighted on the left side so that the audio is going through to them. All right, so we have that one set up. And this means that everything's now, all your desktop sounds are going through the audio mixer, right? Now we'll need to set up a second audio channel. Um, that, that's what this is. The voice meter AUX would be your second audio channel. Um, this is going to be the audio channel that you're going to be sending your sounds through that you don't want to show up on your VODs, right? So whatever it is that you use, whether you're playing music through, let's say, YouTube, or you want to play it through Spotify, uh, you can open up whichever device. And this works with any app or any desktop app that you have sounds coming out of. So it doesn't have to be Spotify. It can be any other app that you're playing sounds through that you don't want to be saved onto your VODs, right? Um, so this is Spotify. We have it opened. Now let's go back to your sound settings. Again, if you didn't, if you X'd it out by accident, that's okay. You can search for it again in your start menu, or you can right-click and find it through your speaker symbol over there in your system tray. So we'll open up sound settings again, and this time we're gonna scroll all the way down to advanced sound options. Now here at advanced sound options, you'll see all the different apps that you have opened on your desktop. Right now we only see Firefox, and for some reason we don't see the, the Spotify sounds right now. And that's because sometimes it doesn't register, Windows won't register the device until you play a little bit of the music. So we'll play a little bit of this music. For my friend Bear Cozy, make sure you follow him. Free DMCA free music as well. So I played a little bit of his music, and there you go. Spotify showed up, right? Under the list. You can see it's now here. So let's now send our audio to the second track that we don't want uh, saved onto our VODs, right? So we'll move now the desktop or our Firefox instead of the default output. We want to make sure it goes to voice meter AUX V. AIO. Same thing with our Spotify as well. You're sending it now to the second channel, the AUX input channel. Voice meter AUX input. Okay, so now of our audio that we don't want on our VODs is being sent to the second audio channel. Um, you can close this out now. So now you can see here already our audio is being sent to voice meter AUX, the second channel. We'll play a little bit of it from the Spotify and you can see it's registering under this AUX channel. Again, if you don't hear, you should be hearing the music now through whatever speakers you're playing as well. So if you don't hear it, make sure that these A1 buttons, A2 and A3 are all checked and that these are light, lit up green so that's sending the audio from the second channel to all your hardware devices. That's a very common mistake people forget. Okay, so the music is being now sent to the second channel now we got to make sure we set up a second channel for your OBS. So this is OBS. First things first, let's set up your desktop audio and make sure it's voice meter. You don't have to do this step, but I like to make sure we get this part right. So under desktop audio, you should already have a desktop audio in your OBS. Under desktop audio, right click the cog symbol and click properties. And just make sure that it says voice meter input for the device. You can select it. Default is fine. It's probably under default and it's probably working fine and sound is probably registering fine, but just in case, make sure it's under voice meter. All right, and now we're gonna add a, uh, the second track. 
All right, and you can see we have a mic track as well, but we're gonna add a second track, which is gonna be our uh, audio that we want muted from VODs. So to do that, we press the plus symbol right here under sources, and then click audio output capture. Um, give it a nice name, we'll just say music track. Something that you can identify easily. All right, now that you say okay, after you click music track and name it, it'll just say which device you want it to be. This time we're gonna pick voice meter AUX. Make sure it's the AUX. This is the second track where the music is being sent. And then click okay. So now you should see it under your audio mixer sources. Um, we can test it out. I'll play a little bit of music. You see it's registering now under the second track and not the desktop audio track. You can see it's registering. Okay, now that that's set up and you have a second audio track, now let's go into your advanced mixer in your OBS. Right-click on your music track audio, go to advanced audio properties. Under your advanced audio properties, you'll see all your music tracks here. For your desktop audio, make sure all the boxes under tracks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are checkmarked. Now for your newly added music track, this is the track that you want to remove from the VODs. Make sure that everything is unchecked except for box 1. So you only want box 1 to check. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 should all be unchecked. Make sure box 1 is checked and none of the other ones. So 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are unchecked. When you're done with that, you can hit the close button. Now remember, when you're adding an audio track, you have to add the audio track to every single scene that you have. So we would copy this, come to this scene, right click, paste reference, and go on to every single scene you have and you want to paste, copy and paste it into every single scene, this music track. And now for our final and most important step. But before we get to it, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and comment. I really appreciate it. Make sure to also check me out on Twitch, where I play a variety of games. All my social media is in the description below. Thank you very much. So let's get to this final step, and this is the most important step, so I'm going to make sure you guys understand it. We're going to go to the settings now. Go to File on the top left and Settings. And this should open up your OBS settings. On the left side, select the output panel. Then go to the streaming tab. We're looking for audio track and Twitch VOD track. Under audio track, make sure the first option is checked. Make sure that you hit the button for the first tra audio track. Then under Twitch VOD track, make sure this box is check marked. And then the sixth audio track, number six button, is active. Click the apply button and then click OK. Now you're all set. Now there's many ways you can test this out. If you want to, of course, you can start streaming and then you can look at your VODs during the middle of your stream and listen to see and hear if the audio track that you want to separate is being separated. Another quick way for you to do it is to go back to settings and again go back to output and this time go to the recordings tab. And under the recordings tab, you have audio track. Just click audio track one, then click apply and OK. Now start playing your music and hit the record button. Record some of your music, record some of yourself talking, record some desktop sounds, make sure everything is working. Then you could stop the recording and then listen to the recording and watch the recording back and to see if it's working or not. Finally, one last tip. Occasionally, you might hear some static through one of your speakers or your headphone or something like that. This usually happens if there's like a Windows update or if you added another audio source like a game's fr freshly open or you plugged in a new speaker or mic or something like that that interferes with the sound and you might hear some static. The best way to fix that is to reset your audio output devices. So you come back to the A1, A2, and A3, and just keep clicking on the device that you wanna set it for over and over again until that sound clears. This happens sometimes, especially I notice through um, my headphones sometimes when I plug it into my Yeti. 
like if I unplugged it and then plugged it back in and it makes this weird static noise or whatever. And I think that's just some interference with newly connected devices, usually your new open software. Um, but like I said, if there's any problems with it, just uh, keep reselecting the audio device that you want to set it for on the output using this method like this. All right, hopefully that helps someone. I know a lot of people ask about that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps people out. I know trying to get around DMCA right now is a real pain. So hopefully this uh, video helps some people out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the lobbies.